Sorry for the length of this one, guys, but I really wanted to be thorough and in-depth with my descriptions. This is really important to have done before you try to uh, attempt a print then cut. You want your machine to be calibrated appropriately. So if you've never done it, watch this video and I hope it helps you. My description box is always full of everything you need. So first you're going to go over to these three bars here in the top left on the Cricut homepage, Cricut Design Space homepage. And you're going to go down to calibration here on the little drop down menu. And it shows you three different calibration settings that you can do. So for this video, we are going to use the print then cut calibration. So we're just going to click that here. And it shows that it wants us to uh, print the calibration sheet on our HP uh, printer, whatever printer you have. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go load my printer with some uh, regular plain, just office paper. So if you've watched my tutorial on how to do the print then cut, um, you have seen that when I open my tray for my printer, that my printer will ask me what type of paper I'm using. So if your printer has these capabilities, please use them. Always select the correct paper that you're using, that you're printing on. And I believe it has finished printing. So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue and go grab that piece of paper. So when your printer is finished printing, you're going to have something like this fit out of your um, printer. And it will show you on the computer exactly how to load this on your mat. So I'm going to switch back here to my computer screen so you can see how to do that. Okay, so our um, design space here is showing us exactly how to load the piece of paper onto our mat. But first we need to make sure that our USB is connected to our computer for our Cricut and also make sure that our Cricut machine is turned on. So I'm doing that now. Okay, so it's time to turn on our Cricut. Make sure that your USB is plugged into your computer and you're gonna open the lid just like that. We're gonna press the power button here. Okay, so it wants us to load the paper onto the mat here, and then we're going to load it into the machine with the load button. So let's go ahead and do that now. And we're going to load our sheet onto our mat, the sheet that the Cricut printed. Make sure that you apply this to the mat appropriately. It does show you a picture on the computer screen of exactly how to do this. So you're gonna start in the top left-hand corner, and it doesn't matter what side of the Cricut mat you use. You could do it up here at the top left, or you could do it on this side at the top left. And we're just going to line this up and stick it down and it doesn't have to be exactly perfect because your Cricut will um, search for the dark black lines so that it does calibrate your machine correctly so this is kind of what I got here and you want to be using your light mat the paper um, is very thin and lightweight and so the lightweight mat is the perfect grip I actually struggled to get my paper off, my plain paper off of the lightweight mat. Sometimes it still shreds. So be careful, do not use any stronger than a light grip mat for this calibration or ever for putting plain paper on. I love this brayer tool from Cricut. I use it every time I put anything on my mat. I noticed a huge difference in the quality of my projects once I started using this to really stick my projects to my mat. Now we're just going to load this mat into our Cricut. Okay, we're ready to load. The flashing load button is blinking. We're gonna press that. Looks like our Cricut has loaded appropriately, so we're gonna go ahead and touch the go button. I'm going to show you real quick here what that looks like on the computer. Okay, so here we have um, the Cricut Design Space, what it looks like here once the paper is loaded into our machine. 
and it wants us to go ahead and click the Cricut Go button. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hit the Cut button on the Cricut. So this is the message that pops up once our test cut is finished. And what it wants you to do is look at the test cut in the very center square that's on the paper. And it asks you the question, does the cut line touch the printed line all the way around? So let's switch over here to my iPhone so we can see what that looks like. And then we'll come back here to answer the question. I'm not going to unload it. Um, if you guys try unloading it at this point, let me know what happens. Um, but for the purposes of this, I'm just going to kind of look really close and I apologize for my appearance. Um, but it does appear that it is all the way around touching the black line. It's not perfectly center, um, but that's all right because this next step is going to help us um, calibrate our machine further to make sure that the cut lines are going right through the, the right spot they're supposed to. So let's switch back to our computer here and go ahead and answer the question. Our answer is yes. Did cut through the lines around the entire square. Okay, so we're answering yes. And we're going to hit continue. And the calibration cut is continuing. So once I hit continue on the computer, this is what the Cricut starts to do. It's going to cut through each of the lines at the top from 1 to 21 and through each of the lines on the side from A through U. And it's going to ask us where the line, where the cut line went um, completely through the center of the black line. So that's going to help your Cricut understand kind of where it needs to be cutting on your projects. It really doesn't take too long. And it's really important because if your machine is not calibrated, you're not going to get those perfect images. What happened to mine was I cut out in the um, image for my print and cut and there was white space on one side and it had cut off the image on the other. So here we have the cut lines all the way through. It spit it out and again I'm not going to unload it. I'm just going to look closely. The Cricut perfectly spits it out to where you can see all the lines. So I'm going to look closely here. So we're going to switch over to the computer so we can answer our questions because we now know that the nine at the top, the line, the cut line was perfectly in the middle, and the O on the right, the cut line is perfectly in the center. So let's answer those questions. Okay, so the calibration cut on the top, we want to say that nine was the perfect cut line through the line, and O on the right. And we're going to go ahead and hit continue. Once we hit continue, it's going to do the confirmation cut. So the last question is, are you happy with your cut? So let's go ahead and look here. And, and I think that is pretty perfect. It went inside that dark line all the way around that larger square. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes and hit continue. It is now saving our calibration settings. We're going to hit save and close. And now it unloads our calibration sheet for us. And that is it. That is how you calibrate your machine for print then cut. I did want to throw in a quick tip here on removing your uh, materials from your Cricut mat. It helps a lot for um, not making your papers roll and it's probably not going to work too well with this because it has some cut lines in it and as I explained earlier, the plain paper is 
really rather thin and likes to stick to this mat. So I'm just putting some pressure on the material here and I'm peeling back my Cricut mat. And I described this a little bit in my print and cut video, um, but my mat kind of flicked off and it ended up rolling at the end. So we're just gonna continue applying pressure here and this is actually working really well. I've never had it come off this smoothly because I always just wanna rip it off quickly and it shreds all those lines. So this, I'm gonna take my own advice for this little video here next time and actually take my material off my mat the right way, which this is the right way if you wanna prevent your material from rolling or tearing. Your mat is bendable and it will always stay flat, so don't worry about it. And there we have it. There's our sheet. It would be a little more sturdy if it wasn't just plain computer paper, but that's honestly much better than what happened um, to the other calibration sheets that I've removed. And we're going to do the same thing here for this one, and our little square in the circle might want to stay as well. Yep, because it cut out. And we're just going to slowly remove this, and this just helps debris not stick to your mat. And your paper comes off smoothly and your mat is clean and still very flat even though we bent the heck out of it if you enjoy my content please like this video and subscribe hit the little bell so you don't miss any of my future videos i really enjoy making these i have lots of fun with my cricut and i just love sharing so thanks for being here and watching this video today